living the good fat life with your host Karen and Sherry. They'll help everything alive for your body, soul, and mind. The good fat life. Whether change comes slow or dramatically, the good fat life will help you sort things out organically. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. It's so much fun to have a theme song. It is. Yeah. It is. Thank you, Wally. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Wally Pleasant. We've had so many um, great, uh, well, I guess we can say the words, right? Avocado ambassadors, and avocado advocate, advocates, right? Avocado and Wally. advocates. Yeah. yeah. Wally's definitely been one of the OG avocado um, advocates by writing us a song. And tell us a little bit, Sherry, about what that is today. <laughs> what the song? Well, today, yeah. today we're going with the flow. We're going with the flow, right? The, yeah. Um, our guest um, got sick. Yeah. And so I got a text this morning saying, I'm sick. Mm-hmm. And um, so anyways, I mean, I I wish him well, mm-hmm. and we want him to get better because yeah. we've got lots of great things to do. Yeah. And it just kind of reminded, it just reminded me of how each day is. Mm-hmm. Are you finding that? I mean, oh, my gosh, yeah. Every single day is full of um, a twist or turn mm-hmm. and sometimes it's sometimes it's a wonderful one yeah and sometimes it's a one where you have to just go okay this or something better right? yeah because right. you just got to get curious about why that happened and where it's going to lead you right right yeah and there's been um this week have been there's been a couple of situations where some people that i've been working with on some different things have really shown up um in um mood or a way I've never seen before oh yeah can you um, ex- describe that well yeah and it's been and in this these pres- um, there's three of them in three particular instances where they were literally having meltdowns and the behavior was really not not their normal self mm-hmm. and I found myself um, rather than it, it would have been easy to to react in a like mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I found myself going wait a minute you know, there's something much bigger going on behind it. Mm-hmm. You know, that center, yeah. that take a breath, yeah. take a breath. And that's like, okay, how come from a place of love? Come from a yeah. place of love. It's like, how can I support you where you are right now? Because mm-hmm. y- it's y- this is a cry for help. Yeah, I've I've experienced that this week as well. And I um, at first I was going to take a personal and get upset. And I thought, no, this is a chance for me to get a miracle. So exactly. I just said, you know exactly. what? I'm going to talk to you later. I'd like to have a conversation. Just get yourself together, and we'll figure it out later, and just get curious about it. And it turned out to be, like, one of the best things I've ever done. I, I agree with you 100%, yeah. because in every in every single situation, they resolved beautifully. Mm-hmm. And it's like we we elevated our trust level, and, um, and it felt good. I, yeah, I think people are really I, – I know myself. I'm really trying to communicate differently um, and listen differently. Right. Yeah. And there's been situations where, um, um, like, for instance, with my sister, uh, we had a situation in our family that she wasn't comfortable with. And normally our family would handle it in a certain way. And we all tried to do it in the same way we did it. And she just said, no, I just need time right now to think about it. And we all sort of honored that. And it really um, changed the trajectory of the situation. We just handled it differently this time, you know, and I think that that's beautiful to just go with the flow. Because right. things are so different right now. Right. And, and yeah, <laughs> it's, and we're hearing, um, we're hearing, well, last week we were in a meeting and there was a, another shooting threat mm. in our mm. county, like right close to home. Mm-hmm. And it was right after the one, um, it was Ox- Oxford, mm-hmm. right, where people mm-hmm. were killed. And these things are becoming real. And I don't yeah. want to say every day, but kind of like real everyday mm-hmm. things. And well, so in the last couple of weeks, we've had two meetings where we've ha- we've had a real dose exactly, of reality, right? Exactly. Where, where we've had a scary situation with shooting and children in a meeting, right? <laughs> and then we've had, um, unfortunately, people in a meeting that had to leave because of COVID and lost people they loved, and right? People real died exactly. People died. Of course, yeah. people are acting differently, and right. You have to be right. so much kinder and gentler to people and to ourselves. And to ourselves. I think that's that's really true, Karen, is mm-hmm. just that. That's a great point. Just to be kind. Just yeah. to be kind. And and I'm I'm so grateful f- 
or the tool our body is mm-hmm. because we know our body just sends off, you know, our ego, whatever, mm-hmm. sends off um, signals right and left uh, to, to give us the opportunity to say, hey, stop for a minute, take a deep breath, mm-hmm. and choose differently. You know, it's very interesting you said that. You know, um, you guys know Sherry and I are into meditation, and my meditation recently has kept, I keep getting in my meditation, notice your body. You're going to feel pain in your body. That's your intuition telling you something. Right. Don't ignore that. You're not sick, but you're going to feel it somewhere in your body. So it's so, I'm so glad you brought that up because one of the things that happened to me recently, which was it, I, I could have taken it as, uh, you know, like, oh, my God. Um, and instead, I chose to get curious, mm-hmm. right? And, mm-hmm. and it turned out that my curiosity has been an incredible gift. Oh, for sure. And so what happened when I was in Jamaica – um, in October, right? Mm-hmm. So we had that week of um, it, like doing things physically. And mm-hmm. I mean, it's no secret, I spent a lot of time sitting on my butt. Um, <laughs> in, yeah, but you with know, doing a lot of work. It's right, not, yeah, it's not like you're sitting there eating right. bonbons. Well, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. But, um, but I, I, I'm, so this was like, okay, so let's get more active. And so we went out, um, we were on a bay right on the ocean and went out in a kayak. So mm-hmm. A kayaked out, and then you have to kayak back, right? Well, I hadn't been in a kayak, I don't know, forever. Mm-hmm. And my left thigh started really hurting. It hurt like crazy. And then I had to come clear back in, wow. right? Mm-hmm. And so one of my colleagues, she had to literally just kind of stay with me and guide, and, you in. And w- guide me in because I was the spasms. So I'm like, okay, fine. Not doing that for a while. Um, and then the next day, we walked up this waterfall. It was a steep waterfall, and it was gorgeous. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And there was like two times where my leg literally, my thigh literally gave out and failed. Wow. I've never had that happen in my life. Hmm. And um, it literally failed. Hmm. And for the first time in my life, I actually felt old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, and I didn't like that feeling. Mm-hmm. So um, one of my... Uh, colleagues, my massage therapist actually recommended this woman. Her name is Sue, mm-hmm. and she has got core performance um, because she really and and Dr. Adam Rushford also recommend highly recommended that I go see Sue and my chiropractor. Um, and so I did. Mm-hmm. And it turns out that there's my body's there's weakness on my right side and some of my muscles, my core muscles that aren't behaving. And she's like, it's it only showed up because it was such a little, you know, you had this narrow time mm-hmm. that you could injure yourself. Mm. But but you're doing damage a little bit every day, kind of like, but it might not have really shown up with a real fail for years. Oh, wow. But because it was so concentrated, it was like, oh, you've really overused me. And oh, yeah. So, so now that, you can So that was the that. gift. So yeah. she gave me these exercises to do. And, you know, um, which was great. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> and so I'm thinking, okay, I need to do these. And mm-hmm. the other side of me is going like, yeah, you'll never do them. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and it's kind of like, yang, 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 yang. And then I just said, no, I'm yeah. doing it. I, you know, uh, this was a gift. I need, I want to, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. So I did them. Mm-hmm. I started doing them and damn, excuse my language. Yeah. If I don't feel empowered. Oh, yeah. And you always want to be able to see the waterfall and be in the ocean, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And, and be there with my grandkids. One of my yeah. friends was just telling me she was at their, her granddaughter's wedding and what a gift it was. And, and I want to be physically able with my grandkids. But but what um, Sue said, is she said, really, so the, the time that it, if you don't do this mm-hmm. and then it fails, it could be because you've got irrevocable damage and a ruptured disc and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it was a real gift yeah. to, to find it now mm-hmm. and, and do the work. Yeah. That's so important. You know, um, my mom is uh, 75 and she actually did some great art for us and for Good Fat Life, which I'm excited to show you about. And she is so sharp. She really is. And I just don't know how she does it. And I think, gosh, I think she's sharper than me at 75, but she's still working and she's still out there and she's still creating. And I just thought she really is still like uh, very much active and um, supporting herself and other people. And I just thought, gosh, I want to be more like her, you know, and right. it really made me realize 
that's the secret, right? She's still out there. And my mo- and during COVID, my mom went with a flow, like everyone else stayed in and she decided, no, if I stay in, I'm going to atrophy. So she decided to go back out and work, you know? And so she went through okay. with a flow like that way. And it's really brought her to her best self, you know? Well, and that, that you read, my parents are in their eighties and yeah. extremely active and engaged. Mm-hmm. Same thing. They were just such beautiful role models mm-hmm. of what's possible when you, when you care about the world you live in. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I really am coming to the terms of before, um, you know, I've always tried to be healthy, but I'm always working on it and I have so much farther to go, but I didn't really realize how important it is to be in good shape, to be of service to yourself and to others, right? Right. So you're not a burden on people, so you can help, so you can lift, so you, you know, for society, it's really, really important. Well, and it is, and so what I'm, I'm learning, and, and really, I'm so grateful for the Good Fat Life journey, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because it's, we want to have integrity around be who we say we are. Yeah. (laughs) And, Mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of things to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the things, like, again, Sue t- is teaching me about is breathing. Mm, oh, so is important. That, that for, so for the next 60 days or whatever, uh, it's like you take a breath, and then you you get intentional, you set your core, and then you do the, the lift or mm-hmm. whatever it is. And that keeps coming back over and over the and breath, over. Right? The breath, and just like we just were saying at the get-go, it's before you react – anything take that breath Mm -hmm. set your core set your intention or whatever Mm -hmm. and be present and mindful in how you your next move yeah well it all goes back to and you know more of a like a larger um thought process or a higher um thinking is that the breath is really what connects us all right if you're breathing that's what life is and if you can tap into your breath that really recenters everything and then if you can move your breath around your body it really is the s- it secret. does, and it's so simple, right? <laughs> it's so simple, but it just and we're all doing it. <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's it's like it's boring. Yeah, it's so right? simple, right? Mm-hmm. It's just like yeah, it's boring. But yeah, um. and then you know, anytime I do any <laughs> meditation or anything, like when they say pay attention to your breathing, when you start to pay attention to it, that's really eye opening, right? I'm like, why am I breathing like that? You know, like when you really do start pay attention, paying, paying attention, attention to how you breathe. It's well, fascinating. And just, and yeah, and how your your body, your ribs expand, and just the w- air goes through your throat or through your mm-hmm. nose. It's, it's, and it's the flow of what's happening around you while you're breathing, right? Yeah. If you ever notice when you're tense or you're holding your breath or whatever, you're in a situation that's probably not good for you. But if you're like breathing and going with the flow, it's probably, you're probably feeling, feeling pretty good. Yeah. And so it's your, it gets to be your choice with your breath how you feel about that situation, right? And everything comes down to that. It's our choice, mm-hmm. right? So speaking of it, tell me about your um, oh, yeah, your choice. gift. Yeah, well, so we talked a lot about receiving, right? Right. And so... And how hard it is. How hard it is to receive. Um, and I've certainly, um, through the things I've gone through in my life, um, receiving seems to be getting um, easier and harder at the same time. Okay. <laughs> this is the best way I can describe it. So anyway, um, I got this lovely gift where somebody um, had the re- uh, made a request for me to measure my um, wrist and fingers and hands. And it was just lo- so lovely and so thought out um, and so well cared for that I wasn't sure if I w- what I was getting, but it made me feel so special and I, and I was preparing to receive whatever it was. So I took the time and it talked about how the, you know, your hands are the tool of your mind. And then it made me think about my hands and then it made me want to take better care of my so hands. So was it like a letter or an Yeah, it was a letter. That and came in the mail? Yeah, an explanation of okay. how I should measure my hand. And it talked about, you know, how lovely my wrist was and it should be, you know, be dazzled by, you know, jewelry of queens and just so sweet, you know, and it just was, and you didn't really know what you're getting, but you just followed the instructions. So you measured it all. And then you sent it off. And then in the mail, I got um, a box and it was a beautiful box and it was like a little jewelry box and you open it up. So you're still not sure what it is. And I got these beautiful um, gloves inside and they're literally, um, Oh, they're, to they're my just hands. gorgeous. And they're fur-lined, yeah. and um, they feel like uh, I just heaven, right? Right. <laughs> and so when I got them, I put them on, and I thought, oh, how lovely. What a lovely, lovely gift. And it made me so beautiful, feel so beautiful and appreciated. It make, and it made me appreciate them that they put 
that much thought into it, you know? So right. it was just a lovely um, uh, gift of receiving and giving in a way. So, you know, it just was... On both sides. On both sides, yeah. So, so. there there was a... I, I love that. And and it was so... It, you just had an incredible experience. I did, yeah. Right? Yeah. And Even if it was a little trinket or something, just the... It wouldn't matter. Just the, the, the thought of somebody putting that much thought into helping me receive whatever it was. Right. And I didn't even... I didn't, it was, I had no attachment to what it was. It just already felt so lovely, you know, <laughs> by the, yeah. by the care. So I had an experience like that. And you said it's, it was a tiny thing. We were in, um, I don't know, Oh, St. Augustine. Mm-hmm. And it was a hot day and we were walking downtown and there was a sign out saying salted caramel, salted caramel ice cream. Yeah. And it was like, that sounds delicious. And oh, it was yeah. right when it was just coming out, right? So mm-hmm. it's been a while. So we went in, and, and I, I never had it before. Mm-hmm. And I went in, and the girl behind the counter helped us. And so he said, I'd like us, you know, salted yeah. carnivore ball. And she's like, oh, great. And then she went through the transaction, and then she came around the, the counter, mm-hmm. and she handed it. She said, here. She said, just enjoy it. Savor every moment of this because it was made specially for you to enjoy. Mm. Something like that. Yeah. But it was such a beautiful, kind of like your yeah. mom, so intentional. Stop. It was like, let's stop. Let's appreciate this beautiful ice cream mm-hmm. and, enj- and, and your opportunity to have a, a treasured moment. Yeah. I, I mean, this is probably... 12 years ago, yeah, 15 years ago, yeah. and I will never forget the how, yeah. how it made me feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Well, we had sort of a, that's, I'm so glad that people are doing that, and you brought that up before, and it, I'm just, I, every time you speak of that, I just, I, I think of you guys and that experience, and it makes me happy, right, that right. people are out there doing that, right. and we sort of had that same experience at um, the Fuel in Brighton, right, they really think about oh, all yes. their foods, and um, they're so thorough, and they speak to you about everything they're doing, and it's, like, so nice to know that they're really thinking all these things through for you, you know, and um, right. Yeah, you're it available right. to We you. had a lovely lunch. It was delicious, uh-huh. but, mm-hmm. you're, but it, you're right. It was, the, it was also um, the staff there mm-hmm. that made it special. Yeah, and it makes you think, too, and how when you go about your day, are you – giving and receiving of those gifts that of the things you're doing shouldn't everything be done that way you know yeah like I'm doing this to provide a beautiful experience for the person or the the community that I'm doing it for right right because this is a day yeah so so when I woke up this morning and I had that text like our guest was ill Mm -hmm. um it first off I'm sorry he was ill yeah I mean that's like oh yeah oh Mm -hmm. that's not cool um, and, and there's, there's a gift there somewhere, mm-hmm. but, the, but the next one is like, oh, well now what do we do? Yeah. Right? Right. And, and then it was stop, mm-hmm. you know, just stop yeah. and be present mm-hmm. because this is not ruining our day. No. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. But the, but maybe the old me would have thought, you know, well, this is ruining my day and gone into, you know. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. Or who like, am I mad at yeah, about this? Or not, yeah, what exactly. can I do? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, well, this is going to be. Um, what are we going to do? But uh, mm-hmm. And I just don't feel that way anymore. No, I really don't. And the great thing about Good Fat Life is um, somehow organically, like, you know, thank God, Wally. <laughs> yeah. term, who knew uh, organically um, rhyme with, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you know, it makes you realize, like, that's where the good stuff is, right? And the flow and the having to do things organically, right? You can plan yeah. all you want. Yeah. But what happens organically, that's where the good stuff is, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it, and it if we can stop and pay attention to our body um, and get curious, then that's magic. Mm-hmm. I mean, so much stuff has happened this week that I, I would have never thought coming in a million years. Mm-hmm. And it's been really cool. Yeah. And <laughs> um, when you think about um, where we started um, for the podcast, right, in our, um, oh, yeah. yeah, during COVID and are both in our rooms and our pajama pants, right? And here we are now. Um, in, and our, we, in separate homes, in se- right? In separate homes. Yeah. And then we had our tech guy in another separate home. Right. And um, we weren't sure what we were going to do or where we were going to go. And here we are now, right? And this gorgeous studio yeah. with this, this beautiful yeah. tech And tech these great people, and great yeah. people. yeah. And um, thank you, uh, Speakeasy and Wayne Media. And so it makes you go like, 
where are we going in the future, <laughs> right? Right. We couldn't have imagined this. Can you imagine what the future would be? Right. Yeah. So tell me, tell me about your clothing <laughs> journeys, because I was, I was like having to stop and pause over my clothes today. So oh yeah. Um, what, what do you mean? Which which clothing journey? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the one the one since we had the conversation with Jim Gilliland at Santa Cruz Cleaners. Oh well, it made me really realize um, one um, how how many clothes I have, and it's almost like an embarrassment of riches, right? And two. Um, my weight has fluctuated kind of back and forth and I have so many clothes um, that I'll probably never wear again and I want to make sure that people get to use them, right? So it made me really think about how I'm buying clothes and what I'm doing. But then also I thought like, um, let's get really curious and have some fun with this because I do need to get new clothes now because I've lost so much weight. But my daughter and I have, we've strictly gone to thrift stores Mm -hmm. And um, my goal is to always find, like, the coolest thing at the thrift store. My daughter, she finds the ugliest thing, and then she – that's her goal. She's like, Mom, I'm going to find the most hideous thing, and then I'm going to um, build an outfit around it. And she always does the coolest thing. But she I have, is so good at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's really, like, um, genius. And you can't even explain it. She can't either, but right. it's super cool. But um, we've been finding just the coolest things, and I've been having so much fun. And I feel like uh, – I mean, I have been finding like cashmere, you name it, um, exactly kind of what I would buy anyway. And it's been so much fun to develop that, you know. So but um, uh, but also I I know that you're looking for fabrics and fibers that are Mm -hmm. um, sustainable. Mm -hmm. And so I've been buying heirloom fabrics, cashmere, wool, those kind of things. Um, Sticking with brands um, that do do um, heirloom fabrics and recycle, like pa- pa- is it Patagonia? Uh huh. Patagonia. Yep, I've got yep. jeans. Um, then also uh, like high end, I've found like Burberry and things like that that you know are. So uh, so I mean you're so inspiring because you find the best stuff. <laughs> Thank you. And 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 Jim is really inspiring too because mm-hmm. he finds amazing stuff as well. And mm-hmm. and you just pay a fraction. Mm-hmm. I have a pair of shoes that I found that. I paid like eight dollars for them, and they were two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Beautiful shoes, and people actually stop me on the street and say, "Where did you get those shoes? What brand are they?" Yeah, right. Yeah, and so, so it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> really. And this is like a this is a wool um, Ralph Lauren sweater that I got at a thrift store, um, and um, this belt I have on is like a. Uh, cowboy belt with a real sterling silver buckle that I got at a thrift store, you know? So, I mean, and I always have like the gorgeous. coolest, most interesting, well, I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like other people are going to wear it, but it, it's a lot of fun and it makes me, um, have my own identity and style. And I do like things that have a history, you know? Well, and it supports the environment it is, right? yes, and it's sustainable absolutely. and, um, it's not fast fashion. Yeah. Uh, and also, um, I realized, and thank you to you, I do have, um, a gift of styling myself, and I think I also have a gift of styling other people. So that's been fun when you give me an opportunity to, or a challenge to find stuff for you. I always love doing oh, that, you know, and like, um, and I think it's fun uh, for you, I hope, too, to go like, this is how I see you. <laughs> it's it's yeah. amazing. It, it is, I mean, it just makes my heart sing. <laughs> yeah. It does. It just So makes tell me about sing. your fashion journey a little bit. And, oh, you know. well, we're, we're going to be, I want, uh, this, in this morning, I was just like, Karen needs to come to my house and go through Mm -hmm. everything yeah and it's okay Mm -hmm. and and but I don't want to do that um until because I've lost seven pounds now since I started Weight Watchers Mm -hmm. and that has been a journey Mm -hmm. a real journey and uh, lots of ups and downs Mm -hmm. and I refuse to get distressed by it Mm -hmm. because when I do I'm just like stop you know what's really going on here and yeah and actually that took me to natural view um the health store in town this week because I'm finding that I, my schedule is just such and my hunger, when I get hungry, I don't always have something quick and easy. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have like just a smoothie that I could drink, but that was really nutritious. So I went to Natural View and the manager there was just lovely. Mm -hmm. And she, she helped walk me through Mm -hmm getting ingredients that um, are easy, mm-hmm. it's delicious, mm-hmm. I can build on it mm-hmm. based on what I have, and also I can use frozen avocados in it, Yum. because you know how often you get those avocados, and then suddenly it's like 
one ripens and then they're all ripe at the same time. Mm-hmm. Well, they freeze beautifully. They do. Mm-hmm. And they go great in smoothies. So I really appreciated, and it was kind of like she gave me a gift of of talking, of ask, listening mm-hmm. to what I was, where my challenges were in a way that wasn't just superficial. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just like, oh, here, do this and do that. It was like, well, let's kind of talk about what do you, you know, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And then she also gave me some, helpful hints like to add some crunchy things in a smoothie because when you chew yeah when you chew well it it releases um certain salivas and digestive juices in your in your um system because some of the ingredients could give you kind of a stomach ache oh i wonder if that also um stimulates your metabol metabolism more because of your chewing I, I yeah, don't know. Huh, that's interesting. But yeah. it was just fascinating, and so I was just so grateful that she took the time. But but she was also so knowledgeable, and she said, "Just throw a couple of these little things in there to give it that crunch, mm-hmm. and your experience will be that much better." Yeah, they are they're a great resource in our town, and but yeah. you know it's really interesting. It's another thing is like um, everything you're doing. It's like why am I doing it right? And mm-hmm. then you're showing up, and people are asking you, okay. Now, tell me again why you're doing them. How can I help you, right? It's not just right. like I want to lose weight. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a journey. I want to be strong. And yeah. so like Sue said, she goes, don't spend time doing anything, mm-hmm. um, anything until you really get your core strong. Mm-hmm. Well, that makes sense, mm-hmm. right? We mm-hmm. talk about building foundation all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but nobody wants to do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting. I had a weight loss goal. I wanted to lose um, 10 pounds, and I think I made it like, uh, I don't know, maybe six weeks ago, and I'm already halfway there. And so I keep telling my friend, you know, I'm down to the whatever. And they're like, that's not the main focus, right? That's just part of the journey, right? But I'm like, I'm, I'm singular focused now on getting that down. But, you know, like you said before, you don't want to lose muscle and you don't want to. So, like, right. it's important to make sure it's always balanced and why you're doing it, right? And and that it's for the right reasons, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, um, so, anyway. Yeah. I just felt like the, a cer- I've thought that could be a goal, and I'll get down to that weight and then get my strongest um, self, which I'm trying to do that and work out every day too. Um, but it's been interesting. And um, here's something that I don't know if a lot of people know about me, but I've, I have been every size and every weight you can imagine. My heaviest weight was 264, Sherry. Can you wow. imagine? 264 pounds, right? No, that's a lot. And that was awful, right? Not to say that, um, you know, being heavier, I'm not, I'm making no judgment for myself. Uh, it was just like I was walking through water and all these things. But now that that's past me, I'm so glad that I had that experience because I've been able to be in every type of body and understand what that's like. And I feel mm-hmm. like that gives me like an empathy and an understanding. And I've, I've had so many transformations. I feel like I've been able to be sort of every sort of type of body. And it's very interesting to me, you know, and um, I want to be my healthiest, but that was interesting how the world treated me, how I felt about myself, how I lived in my body. Um, and even now, um, when I meditate, I keep getting messages of like, be curious about your body type and how that affects your career and your, and your life around you. Get curious about that, you know? And I thought, wow, that's a really interesting way to look at your body. body. Yeah. Yeah. Like be curious about how that benefits you and your life and what that means for your life. And I never thought of my, because I'm not an athlete, you know, I'm not a model, you know? Um, So I'm like, well, what, what is, what does that look like? What does that look like? Yeah. So it does, it is important. It is all important. And it's fascinating how many, um, I don't know, I guess how many aspects of our bodies Mm -hmm. and just our life we just take so for granted. Yeah. Right. Right. And you, in, in talk, you know, going back to going with the flow is I could have been really upset in all those different bodies. And sometimes I was, but I really did go with the flow. And if people that know me, that have known me for over the years and seen all my in, um, reincarnations, they're kind of like, I didn't even know you were like that. It was always just like, I was just Karen. And the, the, there was always things that remain true. Like I always stayed fashionable and fun. And I, you know, I think in general people thought I, was good right. looking, whatever. But there were so it's certain things that were always true about me in every type of body. Every, every that I had. size. Yeah, which is interesting too. You that know, so I always true. take those with me. You know. <laughs> so if you, you know, if you take that to get even more metaphysical in a way, it's mm-hmm. like at the end of the day, everything comes down to love, right? mm-hmm. and so really who you are, and, and who from, you are. Yeah, 
which um, as your who your spirit is or who your real self is. Yeah, there is something that I um, heard and I thought was fascinating. How could I find you in the dark? How would I know it's you if I couldn't see you or um, anything? I would just pick up your energy. How would I know that it's Sherry? Yeah. Or how would you know it's me? me? And wow. really think about that. And that's a really sort of a fascinating um, thing to think about. Yeah. What's the essence yeah. of Karen? Yeah. And right? yeah, what's the essence of Sherry? It's not who, if you take away who you, who, what you look like, right? right? Um, where you work, all those things. Who is that? Who is that? Yeah. And are those in everything that you do? And if it's not, you're probably not aligning, right? So that's... Right. Oh, wow. That's pretty deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And f- a fascinating thing to contemplate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you think about what's always true and everything you do, it's al- that's always present, right? It... Well... But you said something really interesting I- a minute ago. It's always present when you're in alignment. Yeah. But mm-hmm. when we're not in alignment, it's and that present. was like with the people that were melting down this week, they were so out of alignment with themselves mm-hmm. that they were just behaving like, I don't know, crazy people. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were out of alignment. Yeah. And I think people are getting more uh, out of alignment now because the world is shifting, and, and we don't have those... Um, those the stabilizing features that we used to so of course we're out of alignment but then if you regroup and say okay what's the most important core thing here you can always realign Realign. we can choose to realign we can choose to realign and if you have people around you like you and other people supporting them reminding them hey this is who you are this is who i know you to be in the dark Come oh, back, I love that you know i know you to be in the dark oh that just (laughs) give me chills (laughs) yeah Yeah. come back to the light right (laughs) Well, yes. there's so much going on. Um, yeah. Good stuff. We have our mashup this weekend. I know. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> so we're bringing the magazine to life. <laughs> we're bringing the magazine to life. Yeah. And, and we're going to have to just go with the flow that day again. Yeah. And, I, and our 60 day happy is yeah. coming up starting in January. Mm-hmm. And let's see. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's just the holidays are coming up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So much stuff. And it makes you realize um, how important all of this is, especially last year, the holiday. It was almost like we lost a year, right? Yeah. Huh. At I can't least remember. A year and right? a half. Yeah. So we really got to make, we got really got to show up and be present. And um, a lot of people are going to show up to our event on Saturday, uh, Sunday. 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 And um, I'm really looking forward to sharing more about who we are and learning more about who people are that show up at our events. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. And, and just to get to play. Yeah. To play together, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So if you're interested in um, learning more, you know, yeah. go on our QR code, I guess, QR code or goodfatlife.com. Mm-hmm. Also great, exciting. Um, we're launching a new website. Yeah. Right. Wait till so you guys Wayne see. Media yeah. is um, uh, doing that for us mm-hmm. and it's getting close. Mm-hmm. And thanks to them and thanks to all the staff here um, and Rob and Tori and Johnny and Grant and Chris and Amanda. And I know I'm forgetting a couple of people, but you guys have been fantastic. Um, and we've been so supported by you. So thank you guys for that. And um, thank you, Sherry. It's been, so, it's so fun living a good fat life. It you. is. <laughs> no, I agree I'll with you, Karen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just uh, such an unlikely um partnership and friendship but it's like so much fun talk about going with the flow right exactly (laughs) yeah exactly and so it's been so great living a good fat life with you and all the people that are showing up in our lives and um we're looking forward to our um avocado advocates program that we're gonna avocado advocates right yeah they'll be the they're the torchbearers for uh good fat life and yeah stay tuned for that yeah so and we have a book club coming up yeah yeah lots of just Lots of fun. Yeah, lots of things to go with the flow and be happy about, right? Exactly. Yeah, maybe and next year we'll say, let's, you know, forget 60 days. Let's just be happy all year round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we've already decided yeah, that, Yeah, right? I think we've right. already decided that. So right. on, that, on that note, right? Well, yeah, yeah, let's go out and live your good, good fat, fat life. life. Okay. <laughs>